A Dybbuk and an Eber are both spirits that possess people, but with very different intentions. They both are also rooted in Jewish folklore. The word Dybbuk means to cling or adhere. Often portrayed as a demon in movies and pop culture, it may come as a surprise to some that it is not. It is a spirit that for various reasons hasn't moved on and stays on our plane of existence. It wants desperately to possess another living human being. In some stories, a Dybbuk will possess an object or an animal instead. There are four major reasons why a spirit becomes a Dybbuk. The first reason is if the spirit, good or bad, has unfinished business and wishes to possess a living person to finish it. But this task is bad or bad for the host. The second is a spirit that fears Gehenna and has decided to stay. This type of Dybbuk wishes to possess another, to live again or to hide. The third is a spirit that in life has committed a sin or sins so bad that they are not allowed to enter Gehenna and wants to possess another to live again. The last reason is the spirit, good or bad, has been wronged by a yet still living person and wants to possess that person as an act of vengeance. When a person is possessed by a Dybbuk, they eventually cease being themselves and take on the traits of the possessing spirit. The soul of the living person is no longer in control. It will not regain control of its body until a ritual is performed. The ritual is headed by a pious man and sometimes includes 10 Jewish adults. The first step is to interview the invading spirit to find out their name and why they have not moved on. The next step varies from case to case. Usually the Dybbuk is urged to move on or into a prop of some kind. Also, in some cases, holy passages are said. This step is repeated until the possessing spirit leaves. Eber, which means pregnancy, impregnation, or incubation, is a righteous spirit that possesses a living person. But unlike the Dybbuk, an Eber does not wish to harm its host, nor to permanently possess the host. The reasons an Iber possesses a living person is to fulfill a promise or to perform some sort of task they cannot perform as a spirit. Another reason is to impregnate the host's soul. If that confuses you, it did me too. But the closest explanation I could find is that it means the Iber joins the host's soul. I do not know if that is permanent or temporary. The only difference between a Dybbuk and an Eber is the spirit's intent. Interactions with an Eber are mostly positive, whereas interactions with a Dybbuk are mostly negative. I picked this subject because I wanted all of you to know what a Dybbuk is before next week's video about the Dybbuk box. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much. La la.